Wingardium Leviosa! 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 Wingardium Wingardium Will you stop that please? Why are you so mad? Just stop it! It's annoying! But, but it's real! No! No! You can do it! No! You will never do it! Because it's just a box! It's just from a movie! It's not real! Alright? Get it? Alright? Please stop! Please stop! Because it's annoying! Alright? I'm just trying to take a cup of drink and I can't! <laughs> so you please shut the fuck up! We got you with your son! What you've been doing is impossible, man. It's just not just yes. Sorry. It's just... Now you believe me. Yeah. Yes. I. Hello guys, what is up? Terra Artist Movie here with another super super exciting After Effects tutorial and today I am gonna be teaching you how to do this effect. So let's just ramp review this. And it doesn't work. Let's just try it one more time. There you go. And as you can see here is uh, water effects, water bending effects, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like that old movie. What is it called? Uh, the Abyss. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of water from the Abyss movie. As you can see here. Well, as you can see. Yep. That's uh, this is kind of good. <laughs> uh, it's not like uh, you know very very realistic effect like ILM quality or whatever like you can do with you know 3D software or whatever. So basically, it's all done inside After Effects. No third-party plugins. No um, 3D software. Just After Effects. So um, I want to say thank you for my friend who taught me this, which is also a visual effects editor. Uh, he's from Indonesia and is my Facebook friend, and his name is Tuan Besar. So thank you, terima kasih, <laughs> makasih banyak, and thank you for uh, Tuan Besar. And uh, yep, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna be teaching you how to do this. So first thing first, of course, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna shot yourself with a camera, and then click and drag it to this new composition. Boom! And there you go. So you ha you're gonna use tripod for this. So make sure your camera isn't moving. Why are you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna understand it? You gonna understand it later. So um. And then you're gonna duplicate the layer by click on the layer and then press Ctrl D on your keyboard or click on the layer and go to edit, duplicate or Ctrl D. It's the same, uh, just blah 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 as you can see here. But we're gonna delete that so we just have to duplicate duplicate it once and then uh, for the uh, top layer here we're gonna make sure you turn off the audio because when you render it you don't want to have double audio so for the top one here which is we're gonna put some effect we're gonna click it and then go to effect and then uh, simulation and then go to CC Mr. Mercury I don't know if it's actually uh, you know Mr. but anyway <laughs> so basically we are done here so it's a very very easy effect it's already done <laughs> already, I'm not kidding it's, it's serious you already done here all you're gonna do is just play with these settings so for example for my example here to make it small uh, all you're gonna do is go to the uh, uh, longevity and then it's actually I, I don't know how to pronounce this is longevity or whatever <laughs> you're gonna go to the left here to the minus uh, side here and then as you can see here I'm gonna turn it down and it's gonna make it smaller and then for the um, 
Um, blob burst size, I'm gonna make it smaller too. Whoop, there you go, make it smaller, and blob that size, also make it smaller. And also for the um, birth rate, I'm gonna punch it up. So, there you go. Now, as you can see here, you can also play with the velocity. For me, I'm gonna maybe turn it down, or just maybe, there you go. And if you can play with the gravity. For me, I'm just make it, you know, a little bit down, you know, go goes down. And the resistance, you can play with the resistance even more. So, as you can see here, it already looks like water dripping out from one spot. Because it's, the animation is actually explosive. If you want to make it, you know, twirly, you can change it to twirly. As you can see here, if you play this, there you go. It's kind of going around, around, around. Well, basically twirly. Like, uh, like, uh, Miley Cyrus. So, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, that's it, guys. Basically, we are done here. And if you want to make it moving, like, like, like in my uh, scene here, as you can see, it's kind of moving. And woo, there you go. All you're gonna do is uh, set a keyframe on the producer here. Let's say you're gonna make it move from here to here. Just uh, make it sure it's here on this. Uh, uh, and then set the keyframe there. And then on your layer here, you can, uh, uh, on your keyboard, you can uh, press U. And then it shows up the keyframe. And then you're gonna move. And then you're gonna also move this producer, you know, to here. And create another keyframe. And then there you go, basically. <laughs> it moving, woo! And uh, yeah, so for the resistance, maybe I'm gonna make it more resistant. So as you can see here, guys, there you go. As you can see, the animation is actually uh, following the movement. So as you can see here, this is the producer. When you make it move to the right, as you can see here, the producer is actually like leading the animation. So the animation will look realistic. The water will look, will look realistic. There you go. Or you can maybe create some ghost effect also with this. You know, it doesn't have to be a water effect. You can go create some ghost effect. Well, it's all in your imagination. So because uh, After Effects is just a tool, the the actual effects is in your head. Woo! You, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I should uh, write a book someday. Anyway, <laughs> and as you see here, we already done actually. And but uh, I'm just gonna be uh, telling you another thing here. You can actually. Play with the light. So as you can see here, uh, I actually shot this with uh, kind of yellowish lighting, and it's coming from the right. So you can do that by uh, click on the light color here and make it maybe, you know, yellowish. And there you go, to make it blend in more with your scene. And uh, you can even change the type of light. Is it point light which or distant light? For me, it's can point light actually. So it's not, you know, that. Uh, as you can see, you can do. I just realized this. You can actually look at this. Play with the light direction, which has come from the right. Uh, actually, from the left. I kind of forgot where the light. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> but actually, anyway, <laughs> make sure you remember. Ooh, make sure you remember. Uh, uh, which way your light is. Anyway, um, you can also edit the shading, the ambient to make it. You know. Uh, darker or brighter for me and just make it darker to blend in basically it's just for blending as you see, and also as you can see here because I shot this on the uh, flat profile on my Canon 5D Mark II so it's kind of a little bit blurry so and this kind of too sharp so all you can all you gotta do is go to effect um, blur and sharpen at at some you know Gaussian blur and then make it a little blur a little bit boom blend in even more and because it's moving and uh, for me I like to I like to add some motion blur now for this though uh, it's a third-party plugins uh, only for the motion blur so it's called uh, from revision plugins and it's called um, RSMB which is a real smart motion blur there you go it's just for me though to make it even more uh, real sections here it gets some nice um, motion blur effect but if you don't want if you don't want it well you don't have it <laughs> there you go so basically it's all inside after effects uh, uh, except the uh, motion blur but if you don't need it 
there you go. You are basically already done here. The water effects is all inside after effect. All right, guys. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. As you can see here, woo! What kind of water effects? Like in the abbeys, <laughs> it's not that realistic. But hey, anyway, it works because as visual effects editor, well, uh, you gonna you gonna basically, you know, uh, have this. Um, uh, well, you gotta know any type of effects, okay? <laughs> so from the very realistic one to this kind of what I like to call the cute one, because for example, here's like a sitcom for a comedy, and or or maybe a TV show with a with a stupid deadline, you know, when you shot the uh, the footage at daytime and you, the deadline is actually at nighttime. Well, it it happens on TV shows, so you you don't want to use like 3D software that the rendering the rendering time is like like too slow. So I hope this uh, this effects or, or this technique actually helps you out. All right, guys, so Terra Art is a movie here. I hope you find this tutorial useful and to subscribe to my channel and thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching this video. Thank you for like, sharing, whatever, <laughs> and see you in the next cool videos and tutorial. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, a bracadabra in magic, but uh, in Tars movies, like, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bye.